As a result of this legacy, we will be able to buy two big new all-weather lifeboats to put on the coast. And for the next 25 years, or even longer, those boats will be out there saving lives, looking after people, bringing people home um, from the waters and reuniting them with their families. And for the RNLI, but for all of those people, this is a really tremendous and wonderful um, donation. And what a brilliant way to be remembered as well. Today's result really has just been a great relief. There's an enormous sense of responsibility after six months. A lot of expectation, a lot of worry. You've got such historic cars. You've been charged by the late Richard Colton with doing justice to the RNLI, to getting the very best, to maximising that legacy. So there's a lot of pressure involved. But we've had feedback from clients on four consonants. We're confident we promoted the cars to the best of our abilities to a world-class standard, and I think that's what the results show today. I think we've done his legacy justice, and that's all we ask for. Uh, I think H&H &H have done a fantastic job. Um, the cars fetched you know, good value in how the market is today, and um, there's been a lot of interest. They've done a fantastic job marketing the cars. I don't believe anybody could have done a better job. Sure, well done. Last chance. Fair warning. 1.93 million pounds only be. And I do really appreciate and I respect the method that they used at H&H to take bids for these cars. You had to quantify that you were able to pay for them without putting your hand up by, by a letter of the bank, which shows good due diligence and shows no time wasters. Because a lot of these things happen in auctions. You get people who come to make themselves big and bid for a car and it doesn't go through. These made sure that the people who were bidding for this car could pay for it. And that's very professional. Well done. 